Hi, my name is Jamie Joyce, and I'm executive editor of Time Magazine's Classroom News Edition, Time for Kids. I traveled to Bangladesh with the support of a grant from the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting to report on the Rohingya refugee crisis. I chose this topic because I'd previously reported, also through Pulitzer Center, on children living at Kakamo refugee camp in Kenya. And I'd gone to Kenya to learn what education looked like, to see how kids were living there, and it really inspired me to want to learn more about education and emergency settings around the world. And the Rohingya crisis um, is, is a new crisis. This is just something that um, so if we had the major influx of refugees coming in about one year ago, and I traveled to Bangladesh really about on the one-year anniversary of the influx. So it was incredible to see the conditions one year in. Um, we have about you know, close to a million refugees living in the camps throughout the Cox's Bazaar district of, south, of southern Bangladesh. You know, I was talking with children, meeting with kids there, observing their classrooms, meeting their teachers, and what I found was that children were incredibly happy and smiling and vibrant. And, and this was really a testament to the work that's being done by international aid groups in the camps because I always had to remind myself that these are kids who've witnessed incredible horrors. Um, they fled their countries because of incredible violence. Um, the genocide that took place in Myanmar a year ago, um, these are kids who experienced that. Kids that I spoke with through translators told me about the experience of their families in their villages, um, of their homes being burned, of being attacked. Teachers at the learning centers and the child-friendly spaces I visited showed me drawings that the children had done early on um, when they had first arrived in Bangladesh. And it's just, um, it's heartbreaking to see what these little kids had to endure but also heartening to see how much of an impact the learning centers and the child-friendly spaces and all of the supports within the camp are having on these kids and um, how it's helping them to regain a sense of normality after experiencing such trauma. In Bangladesh, I visited child-friendly spaces, learning spaces. The child-friendly spaces are sort of like community centers for children, really lively environments. I was surprised to find such a stimulating environment, really colorful, lots of activity going on, um, little tiny kids playing dress up, kids making music, rattling tambourines. I mean, it was a really stimulating environment. And I constantly had to remind myself that these are kids who've really suffered. And here they are in this new setting. And um, they have a chance to be kids again. And that really um, was incredible to witness. One of the things that I will always remember from this reporting trip was going into learning centers with children and um, kids, they do a lot of singing and recitation of poetry. And at one point on my first day in the camp, um, kids rose up from their seats, they're all sitting on the floor, they rose up from their seats and they all began to sing. And the song they were singing is one that um, we are all familiar with here in this country, and they were singing We Shall Overcome. To hear these children knowing what they've been through singing that song really um, was an incredible moment, one that I'll never forget.